I always say that it reminds me of like a fresh chewing gum sexy rose. It's pumpkin season. Hey, like beat. It is almost Vlogmas. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Raspy Keiko is back. If you guys saw my most previous video, you know that I am fighting a cold. Thank God it's not too bad, but my voice is suffering. And unfortunately I've been talking for 40 minutes, so please bear with me. But I love monthly favorites and I'm so excited to bring to you guys all the items that I've been loving for October. So if you'd like to see my monthly favorites, then please keep watching. So first guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos, even though I know you do. This is probably the top video on my channel besides a haul, cause y'all love when the girl spends money so i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get right into it because i don't know how long a voice is gonna last so let's start with fragrance because that's like my favorite category i loved a lot of fragrance this month because we are now in the fall season and i have just been like dousing myself in fragrance. I also recently got a fragrance ladder shelf um, that I'm loving, so I will link that down below also. And what that's allowed me to do is have all of my fragrances on display. So every morning I pick a scent and every night as well, and it's just been definitely the highlight of my month. The first fragrance that I've been loving is Nishane's Nefs, and this is, mm, this is a rose like fresh green deep scent. I always say that it reminds me of like a fresh chewing gum sexy rose. I mean it is so beautiful and it's not too in your face. It's very soft but it lasts forever. This is such a unique fragrance. It's also very pricey but if I can't find it on sale I will link it down below. It's just so unique. It's so sexy. It's also androgynous. I would love to smell this on a man. It is just simply a stunning unique scent scent that I enjoy so so much. Once again that is Nishane's Nefs. Okay next is another fragrance that is older in my collection and one that I really only use for fall and winter and this is Montaz Intense Cafe. Oh my goodness this is like the prettiest rose and coffee scent. I'm not a fan of the packaging I'm sure you can tell why, but this is just such a beautiful scent. It's coffee, it's rose, it's vanilla. It is just sweet and, and just beautiful. It has the longevity of the Holy Spirit. It is just, it is amazing. It lasts forever and it just always reminds me of cold weather. It's also a compliment getter. People love this fragrance. I think it's so unique, the coffee and the rose together, but it's just such a beautiful scent. Also androgynous, lovely. I don't know, I love wearing this one to bed because I wake up and I can still smell it and it's just so, so beautiful. Okay, next we have Amo by Ferragamo. And this is one that I don't use all too often and actually my scent has macerated and now it's a bit deeper but this is your orange creamsicle. It smells like an orange creamsicle in a garden of flowers. It is so beautiful. Not too too unique but also unique to my collection because it's orange blossom and it just smells creamy and sweet. It has Tahitian vanilla I believe. It's really beautiful and it's the perfect like comforting scent. Y'all know that I'm in my vanilla gourmand era right now and this is just a scent that I think smells so beautiful wearing to bed. It's just soft and delicate and feminine. Um, I don't hear enough people speak about it but it's truly a beautiful scent. Not too too unique but still unique to my collection. We have a lot of fragrances. <laughs> the next is Lancome's Tresor La Nuit and oh my goodness. This is your strawberry, caramel, fruity rose. It is a sweet, syrupy, sticky rose. It is so beautiful, so sexy, so feminine. I also wearing, I also love, excuse me, like because I'm sick, like my brain, there's a disconnect. So 
If I'm a little off in more ways than one, I apologize. But this is just so sweet and sexy. I love wearing it to bed because it's just so like, I love to smell sweet and sexy going to bed. And I know it's just for me, but there's just something about this scent that is just so sweet and sexy and feminine. And it's also very long lasting. I think that the Lancome scents are very underrated. This is one that I love so much. She will always be in my collection. Tresor La Nui, beautiful, beautiful rose. Okay, and the last fragrance is the Good Girl Parfum de Marly Delina. We've been having cooler weather here in Atlanta, but it has been warm some days. So I've still been enjoying this fragrance. She is just the ultimate pretty girl. She's so striking and bold and beautiful. It's like a rose of the 21st century. It's very striking. It's tart. It's not a sweet rose. This mixes really well with other fragrances. I just love it so much. Yeah, Delina will always have a spot in my collection because she will forever be that girl. And I'm sad to put her away as we get into the colder weather, but that's when Delina Exclusive will come and shine and she will steal the day because she's so gorgeous but Delina is always good as well okay let's get into skincare first I want to talk about a new product that I've been trying out and loving this is the Charlotte Tilbury magic water cream I actually tried this in store at Sephora probably about a month ago and I really enjoyed it it is a very thick um, consistency but it's not as thick as the original magic cream so if you have combo oily skin you'll like it I think also if you have normal skin you'll still like it because it still provides a lot of hydration I'm wearing it today and it just like you want to glow if you really want to glow wear or use the dr. Dennis gross peel pads and put this on afterwards this is what I wore in the um my live stream that I did this past week last week I believe and y'all could not stop talking about my glow it's this product it is more hydrating and it makes you glow more than the belief aqua bomb so I would say if you don't want that greasy shiny glowing look don't go for this does it replace my belief aqua bomb I don't think so but on days when I really want to glow this is just perfect and I love it the next product I've been loving is the dermatology pumpkin enzyme mask and this is my favorite mask for fall and winter because it's pumpkin season hey I love this so much it has pumpkin granules enzymes in it you apply this to clean dry skin massage it in and then you let it sit for 10 minutes during that time this mask is going to heat up and your skin is gonna feel so warm you're gonna see the texture change to that of like a drippy icing like it's such a smooth texture it's so interesting but the texture will change and it will become softer and it'll look very, very gooey. Then after that, I take a clean skin club towel and I simply just like swipe it, rinse it off of my face. Your skin is going to be so glowing, so hydrated and so smooth. So this really helps to exfoliate and brighten your skin. It's like the only mask that I think you need for the fall and winter time because it gets rid of texture, it makes you glow, it introduces a lot of hydration. Love it, love it, love it. Next, I've been really loving having the La Roche-Posay Hyla B5 Serum back in my routine. I recently got this from the brand and I featured it in a PR haul earlier this month. I'll link that down below. This is my favorite hyaluronic acid serum because it's a effective but not too pricey. The only con is that it is scented. It smells very fresh and aquatic but it does dissipate quickly but I know a lot of people are averse to scented skincare so I do like to mention that but I love it. Hyaluronic acid is a staple for me in the cooler months because it's a humectant so it helps to draw moisture to your skin so the correct way of which to apply it is to apply it to damp skin because it's going to help draw moisture to your skin and it just helps give me juicy skin. I love it. I really only use it in the cooler months and since we are in that I have been loving this serum and my last skincare favorite 
maybe not, is the Rin Glow and Protect Serum. I received this from the brand probably two years ago and never really used it, so I just started using it. I've told you guys that since I use the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads, I really just use whatever vitamin C serum that I have because those are just so potent. And at first I didn't really know how I felt about this, but I do like it. It has a nice gel cream consistency, but it's lighter weight and it makes me glow. It helps protect my skin. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. So I really do enjoy this. Um, yeah, shout out to Ren. And my last skincare product is of course the Clarins Double Serum because it gives you juicy, juicy skin. So if you want to glow, you want to be hydrated, if you want to fight signs of aging, fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness, dehydration, all of that, you are gonna love this product. There's two chambers in here. So you have a water soluble serum and an oil soluble serum. And you can also control how much of each you use. I featured this in my recent PM skincare routine, but I also did an AM skincare routine this month, so I will link both below. Don't think that Clarins is just a line for older women. This is specifically made for 20s, 30s, and 40s, and I love it, so shout out to the Double Serum. Yeah, love, love. Okay, makeup. First, I wanna talk about this blush from NARS. It is called Seduction, and this is what it looks like. I'm wearing it today. I love it because it's like this berry shade that I think just looks so nice for fall and winter. Um, the only thing I will say, though, is that mine is a little old, so the packaging is sticky, and I'm noticing that a lot of my NARS blushes are getting sticky and I don't like that. So I need to figure out a way to get rid of that outer stickiness, but NARS um, blushes will always be my favorite. They're super pigmented, which means they show up on deeper skin tones, which we love, and they last forever. Ever. Okay, stop singing because you know you barely have a voice, but this has been my favorite blush of the month. Love it, love it. Um, my second favorite has been the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I use this in the cooler months because it just helps my skin look perfected, so I've really been enjoying this. It doesn't keep me matte, but in the cooler months, I really don't need to be mattified through a setting spray, so I use this for the cooler months, and it just helps me look like I don't know, perfected. I'm wearing it today and I really, really like it. So shout out to the good girl, Charlotte Tilbury. As y'all can see, I love Charlotte Tilbury because I'm also loving her foundation again. Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I have the shade 10 Neutral. Now the shade range is kind of tricky. It takes a while to get your perfect color match. But if you can find one, you will love it. This foundation, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. This foundation I love because it um, it makes me look so flawless. And I'm very imperfect right now, but it just makes me look smooth and beat and just like beat. So I love it. It's also full coverage, so that's nice. The shade range is kind of tricky, but if you can find your perfect match, I think you would like it. Um, yeah, shout out to Charlotte Tilbury. My last makeup favorite is this lipstick. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Cozy Suede Lip Cream in the color Pinky Brown. Shout out to my girl, Brown Girl Lux. I'll link her channel down below. She recommended this to me probably last year or the year before and we were in Sephora one day and I picked it up and I rediscovered it this month and I love it. It's a beautiful pinky brown shade of nude. It just looks really nice with a brown lip liner. Also, I love the formula because it's a suede cream so it's thicker. It's not gonna dry your lips out as much as a traditional liquid lipstick would. I'm not gonna have any voice after this, but that's okay. I really, really love this. I am interested actually in getting another, so shout out to Makeup by Mario. Let's get into fashion. My brand in black with Kendrick Trunk. I used it a few times this past month and I love it. She is such a little cutie. She gets so much attention, good attention, while I'm out and about. I have reviewed this bag and I will link it down below. Oh my goodness, I still have the feet on it. Well, at this point, let's just leave it on until they fall off. But this is a great handbag. It does have its cons, and I will link that video down below for you to see my cons. But overall, I just love it. It's so cute. It's so vintage-y inspired, and it's just a fun bag to carry for a nice pop of color. I love all my Brandon Blackwood bags, and this one is so fun. Okay, another bag that I use a few times this month and realized how much I love it. Again, the Louis Vuitton Papillon 26, and 
this means butterfly. This is a discontinued style, but you can purchase it on the pre-owned market. I love it. It's so fun. It's so vintage. This was my era at Louis Vuitton. Like this was when I got into bags and I just love the classic silhouettes. Definitely not popular, but the quality is also a hundred times better than what you'd get nowadays, which is why I have not purchased any brand new Louis Vuitton. We love that, right? Um, but really, really love this bag. It's just so cute and vintage. It's just fun. And once again, this is the size 26. It does come in a larger size 30, um, but I thought this was better for going out. That's how I use this bag for like going out. So love it. And my last bag that I love is my Alexander Wang Rocco. I will be doing a what's in my bag next month. So stay tuned to that. But this is in the color latte. It has rose gold hardware and studs. It is very, very heavy, but it's just so pretty. It's so comfy. It's an old fashion girl staple. If you have loved luxury bags for decades, you know this bag and you can get them for fairly cheap on the pre-owned market. Market. I purchased this from Fashion File maybe two years ago for under $200 and it's heavy but it's such great quality and it's just so fun and it's a great carry and it also has a shoulder strap. I just love it. <laughs> oh excuse me. Oh, I'm sure my lash flipped upside down. <laughs> also with fashion, I have the Chacos that I'm wearing, but I'm wearing them and I'll tell you why in a second, but I'll post a picture on the screen. I have been having some issues with arch pain. Like I'm really getting old, I guess. And so I have really only been able to wear Chacos 24 seven because they're lightweight, but they're thick and cushioned and supportive. And because I don't like wearing a sneaker, it just gives me the amount of support I need for every day. But I really use my Chacos when I go on vacation and I'm gonna like climb a mountain or do something super active because I can also have my feet out, like my toes. They've been really coming in handy for the past month because I have not been able to wear like slippers around the house and out and about. It, this is more comfortable than wearing like my Tory Burches. So I do love my Chacos. They're not the most super fashionable sandal, but they're super comfortable. And I guess as I'm getting old, that's what I need. So shout out to Chacos. Also my Victoria's Secret satin pajamas, which you guys have seen me in a few times this month and also last month in my 30k live I love them so much they have a little bit of stretch in them which I find to be nice I got them in a size double XL could have gotten the extra large but when stuff is satin because I have like a large chest and my thighs are big and satin does not stretch I always tend to go up a size so I would say you can take your regular size but if you want them to be super loose and comfy or if you have larger body parts definitely go up a size but I love them they are very pricey but I had a coupon and those are gonna be my Christmas pajamas for this year okay and the last favorite for the month is Virgin River shout out to my girl Delena when we met up was it this month I think it was this month when we met up she was telling me about Virgin River and she's also been talking about it on her Instagram and so she said that like she loves it so much so I decided to check it out. Virgin River is like a better version of a soap opera. It's comedic. It is very dramatic. There's a lot of romance going on but there's also a lot of drama in this small town of Virgin River, California. So I've really been enjoying that show. I'm about halfway through the series and I don't know. I, it's an easy watch. I don't have to think too much about it but it's just such a good show. So if you're looking for something new to watch on Netflix, definitely check out Virgin River. Okay guys. Oh, I made it through this video. Praise the Lord. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm sorry for my voice or lack thereof. Also, there's a lot of like watering going on. There's just a lot happening, but I wanted to be able to get this video up in time. I cannot believe it is almost November. It is almost Christmas. It is almost Vlogmas but I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything that I spoke about down below. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me this month and just for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you're loving, what you've been loving or what I should buy next month. And I will see you guys next month in the next video. Bye.